Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your Dell Latitude E7450 computer on your Windows 10 device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. Now you want to type in Reset. Best Manage should come up as Reset This PC. Left click on that. Underneath Recovery, if your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstalls Windows. Left click on Get Started here. Now you have two options, keep your files which remove apps and settings but keeps your personal files. And the other option is remove everything which remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. Even though the first option says keep my files, it's only going to keep some personal files like some documents and pictures. And there's honestly no guarantee it will actually save it depending on where you save the file location to and if the factory reset goes according to plan. So I would highly recommend backing up any important documents to an external media source before proceeding with this tutorial, no matter which selection you do, honestly. But for the purpose of this video, I want a clean factory restore reset of my Windows 10 computer. So I'm going to remove everything. Then it's going to ask you want to clean the drives too. Basically the first option just to remove my files is for people that are going to be using their device again themselves. And the other option is going to be for people that are going to be donating their computer or giving it to somebody else. So remove files and clean the drive, that'd be more if you're going to be giving it to somebody else. Most people should be sufficient just to remove my files, which is the option I'm going to select. And there will be one further prompt here before we can commence this reset, which we will confirm that all personal files and user accounts on this PC, apps and programs, and any changes made to settings will be reset. So we're going to just left click on the reset button here to commence. This will take some time. Please be patient. I will keep this video going just so you guys get a sense of how long this process takes. And once we get to some more prompts, I will commence my narration of the tutorial once again.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Alright everybody, it looks like our reset of our Latitude E7450 computer has been completed successfully. And at this point you should be able to go in and reinstall any applications you had to uninstall or remove in the process of performing the factory reset, of course. Um, I would recommend also creating a system restore point as well as making some backups once you have your computer back in a working 
productive environment just so you have easy access to restore points if anything went wrong in the future but again that really wouldn't have anything to do with this tutorial it's more just of a good practice to be honest but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye